Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. So we just pushed aside this cardboard box, our first daunting puzzle. We did it. And we've got ourselves another cave to wander through. And a another data file for the copad. We're gonna feed that copad. So you can change the radar's orientation. We'll respect its orientation, but you can change it. So we got some more mushrooms in here. Taking them out actually doesn't do anything for you. But we do have a classic Pikmin puzzle trope. So this obstacle here is more of the sandcastle variety. But in the first and second of Pikmin's, there were versions that were more rock based that required explosives to take down. So thankfully, our band of merry red Pikmin can take it out as Alf throws some shade on Brittany and Charlie and they're distressed. They could be completely dead and he's just going to go ahead and make fun of their work ethic. So not cool, Alf. But we found the SS Drake, our steadfast ship. But... No one's around. I don't know, Alf. What will you do? Maybe we can ping Brittany. This is ominous. Oh, it's Brittany. I thought it was somebody trying to ask us to extend our car's warranty. Whew, thank God. So this is our third intrepid explorer, Brittany. She is the brains of the operation. God bless. So she's safe, but she's trapped. So we need to go and rescue Brittany. She's very hungry. Brittany. We must find Brittany. So Alf has his fears allayed. But, unfortunately, the most dangerous thing of all the sun setting in Pikmin world. So in Pikmin, when the sun sets, you gotta get back to your ship or you're gonna be in some heckin' trouble. Thankfully, the Drake can beam us aboard and we'll be safe to take off into low PNF-404 orbit. Doesn't have quite as good of an acronym as LEO that we use for here on good old Earth, but that's okay. So there we go. The onion will follow the ship, which I think is pretty cool. It becomes even more fun as things get a little more colorful. So we were brought to PNF 404 to gain supplies because we're running out of food on Kopai. All they brought with them were three days worth of supplies, which is unfortunate. Out of a possible, I don't know, a bunch. So we have to find something to restore those supplies. So we're going to use one third of our provisions right here. Just for Alf, because he's super selfish. But PNF 404 apparently has an abundance of delicious treats. And we clear the first day on PNF 404. Look at us getting achievos. And this is just another hint that use the... Uh, the radar for strategy. There was a little bit of a spoiler on that, so pause that if you want to look at it, but I don't know. So you can see that we've only got two days worth of supplies left, but there's these weird colorful things next to it. It looks like we might have to collect. So day one is in the books. We're going to find out how Al feels about that. I suppose I can read these as I have learned to be literate. We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake. But our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found, and we won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany, and we will set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the Onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Signed, Alf. 
kind of a little captain's log, although Alpha's not a captain, so it's more like cadet log, but that's okay. So the game will save for us. There is auto saves at the end of every day. You cannot save mid-game, which is unfortunate. So the only saving you're going to be doing is at the end of each day that you do, or if you complete a mission in mission mode. So it's pretty exact. We've identified a new place, which looks curiously like Australia. So hello to you down under. If you're watching this from the land of the ruse. But it appears that Brittany might be in this Garden of Hope. So we've got two objectives. Our short-term goal is to find Brittany, but our long-term goal is to find this cosmic drive key. Very, very bad. So let's go ahead and land. You can go back to the day before. You can retry the day as many times as you need to if you make a big old goof, which definitely won't happen in this Let's Play. This is going to be a flawless run. So here's mission number one. Where is Brittany? We've got the Onion and the Drake flying in tandem. And we're at the Garden of Hope. So we've got to make some moving and grooving here. So as I already stated and spoiled it for you, Alf, you can recall your Pikmin by approaching the onion and drawing them out. And however many you put in is the amount you're going to get out. Up to 100 on the field. In this case, we've only got reds, so that's what we'll do. There you go. Alf, you are just so smart. He's kind of the tech guy. He's your IT specialist, your network engineer, your programmer, all of the above, etc., etc. So now we've got an app to do that. So let's go ahead and start splitting up the crew here. We're going to be wanting to collect plenty of things throughout this episode. We've got an enemy here, the Dwarf Bulborb, who uh, we can ruin its day. If you rush enemies, especially the small ones like that, you'll have a better shot at taking them out. You gotta be careful with those guys, because they will eat your Pikmin, and if your Pikmin gets eaten, they are... They're donezo. That's all you get. So, we're gonna split up the crew here, and we're gonna try to... get a move on. Check out what this data file has to say. Thank you for... Telling me about the mechanics that I've already explained, game. All right. So while those guys are building that bridge, we're gonna pluck these Pikmin. You can split up your Pikmin. We're actually, you know, doing that in a very kind of minimal way now because we only just have red Pikmin. However, there are other types of use as you've seen with the yellows so far. And we have three explorers. So the game does allow you to Kind of get creative with how you'd like to split up your forces. So unfortunately our bridge to Terabithia here is only halfway done. But we've got our our red Pikmin working hard. They're the they're the melee fighters of your group. They have the strongest attack power, so they're good to use for combat. So we've got a few new things here. We've got another pellet posy. We're not gonna do that yet. I actually got locked onto this. And uh, we found some PNF404 drugs of the earth. So this is nectar. As Pikmin grow over time, they will naturally grow into buds and then flowers. But if you get nectar, those bad boys will flower up right away. So just kind of Swirl them around there. Not all of them are going to get it, unfortunately, so only the most privileged of the upper class will get them. And, uh, yeah. Some of our Pikmin are flowers. The flower Pikmin are stronger. They're quicker, which is very nice. 
and they'll be the ones that you'll want to bring with you on a, on a big fight perhaps or to collect some stuff. So this is very good. We'll have that bridge done here in a GIF. And we have that one pellet that we collected, which is nice. We'll try to intercept the Pikmin as they're coming back because we don't really need them to go all the way back to the, the original spot. So that bridge is done. That's the jingle jangle for successful bridge completion. We got our full squad of 32. And uh, it looks like our first major enemy. So let's be very, very quiet and sneak up on it. So as always, we love taking things from behind, as you should always do in life if you can. We're going to sneak up on this giant bulb orb. And in the same fashion as we did when we killed its child, as you should do, we'll attack its butt. So that level of Pikmin squad is enough to dispatch that bull borb in one shot as we go after its behind. It was no match for our butt attacking skills. You're welcome. Got some more pellets here, which is nice. We actually didn't even need all of those Pikmin to do that, but it worked. We've got a very curious electrical gate here, but we can't do anything with that yet. But uh, let's see what happens if we run into it. Nope, no, no. Excuse you. I'm trying to show off something funny. Oh, so that's not good. Don't do that with your Pikmin, though. If your Pikmin run into that gate, they will become electrocuted and die. So don't do that. The game is encouraging cowardice. Um, absolutely not. When we play Pikmin, we are all in. This game is all about very aggressive strategies and full force offense. I'm just making this up. There will be times when you have to strategize and you gotta be careful. Got another one of these weird kind of transparent walls that we can't do anything with yet. So I'm not sure exactly what that's all about, but we'll come back. We'll come back. Another sandcastle wall here to try to impede us, but we've got more Pikmin now than ever. So this should be dispatched in no time. We're getting ever so close to being able to rescue Brittany. And as you can see, what changed is that up above on the screen, we have a sundial kind of dealio going on with all the parts of the day broken up. So the day is four big circles long, just like a clock. And we've already hit the uh, first quarter of the day. So Brittany's dead. Um, yeah, um, this is rough. Um, rest in peace, Brittany. So let's go ahead and call her corpse. A little dark for a children's game. Oh, just kidding. Well, Brittany is a zombie now, so uh, we have just found the Pikmin special episode of The Walking Dead. She's being a little callous and taking a nap. Great. Good job, Brittany. Way to make us think that you were not of this earth. But Brittany found some fruit. We're all hungry lads and ladies. And we need to collect some sustenance. So Brittany has pointed out that there's some fruit in our mist. And we need to go get it. So we will. Our first fruit of the game is the strawberry. This episode and all the other episodes, feel free to jump in and tell me what your favorite fruits are. My favorite fruit is pineapple, but I love a good strawberry. Top five for me. Strawberries are delicious, nice, sour, and sweet. So we've got fruit, we've got Pikmin. How do we get it back to the Drake? Well, Alf, don't you worry your sweet little head. You can have your Pikmin take it for you. Now what's nice is that Pikmin can take it in the minimal amount that you need, but you can send double the amount. So they'll take it twice the speed, which is very good. And we'll let them do that. We'll check out our treasure in a moment, but we're gonna go over here and get this awesome tutorial hint, like I just said. 
with spoilers on the right side. You'll learn what that means later. We're going to have our Pikmin hang tight for a second. So the strawberry has been taken to the Drake. It gets analyzed when it does that remotely. We are working from home. So in doing so, you get a fun little analyzation of what you got. You can rotate the fruit around or not. Cool. And they have cute little fun names for all the different fruits, which I think is really nice. So in this one, a strawberry or a sunseed berry nets us one vial of juice. And apparently their nutritional system is called Pictamin U. It's very funny. Now, one of the points of contention of the original game is that the juice acquisition screen that you just saw with one fruit, it's not too bad, but with multiple fruits, the frame rate of this game would drop down to like 15 frames. It was really bad. So thankfully, I think they fixed that, but we'll see once we collect a bunch of fruits all at once. That was just one, but you can really load up and get a ton all at once. So Brittany is our botanist of the group. She's the green thumb, which is very nice. So we're going to head back. Get another achievement, which I love that they put that in this game because it's not tacky at all. We're going to go back and collect our six Pikmin that we sent out to collect that fruit. So we're going to continue to move along. There was a little cave up, up ahead, which we're going to dip into for a moment. We're going to try to rescue Brittoni. She needs our help. Huh. This looks ominous. What is all this stuff? There's crystal structures everywhere, but... We've got something trapped inside this crystal. And we've also got some crazy enemy! This jellyfish monster! So we've got all kinds of Pikmin. We're gonna be careful, we're gonna whistle them away. We're gonna lock on and keep firing away at this guy. As we learned, red Pikmin are good fighters. And inside that goopy goo were a brand new type of Pikmin. The Rock Pikmin. It's time to rock and roll, everybody. These guys are great. They may be a solution to what we're dealing with right here. So let's go ahead and whistle these guys and throw them at this structure. So what's nice is that rock pikmin can be used to destroy kind of glass-like structures. And if you throw them once, they'll do the same thing as other pikmin when they build bridges. They'll just keep ramming on into it. So they're very dedicated to their job. Very diligent. So now we're going to have to decide what Pikmin we want to use. So you swap between those with L and R in your control pad. Very nice. And you can dismiss the squad with Y, which is great. So that way you can not get them all frizzle frazzled. Oh, so there's that guy. We can take him back to the rock Pikmin onion. Get some more rock Pikmin while we're at it. We don't really have a good means to do that yet. So this is actually a really good way to do it. And as we collect more rock Pikmin, we learn a fun fact about how rock hard they are, just like me all the time. So we're going to keep blowing this stuff up. We're going to collect some more, split up our time here. Get some gray pellets, which is really nice because we need as many of these guys as we can get. And thankfully, our red boys are being so patient and kind. But we try to acquire more data chips. So this, something I already explained, the majority carrier of whatever type of Pikmin you have are the ones that will get you the, the pellet of that choice. So if it's a gray pellet and the majority of the Pikmin carrying that gray pellet are gray, in this case, rock Pikmin, then you will get rock Pikmin. If it's red, then you'll get red Pikmin. 
Pretty simple, pretty easy to understand, I would say. If there's any confusion, don't hesitate to call HR of D-Mike Industries. Okay, so that's pretty good. We've got quite a few of each now. But if you remember, one of the things that we were struggling with is there were certain structures along the way that we just could not get through. In this case, we've got this glass wall here. We have to break through this glass ceiling to rescue Brittany. So you can switch back and forth between Rock Pikmin. Between Rock Pikmin and Red Pikmin. I was trying to split the squad, but this did not not quite do it the way that I would like it to have, to have done. There we go. That's a little... A little... All right, whatever. So I just wanted the Rock Pikmin to charge this wall. The Red Pikmin can't do anything. They're essentially wasting their little times. That's okay. So we're going to keep going here. We broke through that stupid structure and in the process we can find ourselves some nectar huh we like that let's swarm this get everybody nice and sauced up for the weekend as i record this on a monday so britney's trapped but fret not britney we will have you safe and sound here in a moment was we used the wrong Pikmin. Hold your horses, Brittany, jeez. You're welcome. Oh, you are so welcome, Brittany. She is hungry. She certainly is. They are certainly cute, just like D-Mike is. But, uh, Brittany has discovered a fruit! So we're actually gonna learn about a new mechanic here. Where, in this game, you can throw your captain. As I throw Brittany the wrong direction. I thought it was just gonna already orient me that way, and... <laughs> we're doing great, guys. So you can throw your captains. That's actually a way to uh, to get things going. So we're going to throw Brittany, get Brittany some of the red Pikmin. And then you can select her, switch the leader with Y, and manage your load. So I'm going to have Brittany go ahead and get that delicious yellow orb down for us. Whatever that, that could be. So that's wonderful. That's another fruit. We're actually gonna throw a few more Pikmin alongside it to get it there. Okay, or not, that's fine. You can have double the amount, as I mentioned before, so they'll take care of that. Thank you guys, appreciate it. We're gonna collect another data chip. And uh, yeah, it's really nice too. You can send your Pikmin and your captains with the go here. Command. And it lets you kind of get stuff done. So when we need to start splitting up, we'll do that. Right now, in the beginning of the game, it's not quite as useful. Not super important. But, uh... Yeah, we got some kind of crazy enemies here. That... We'll dispatch. But... We'll do that in a moment. Once our lemon gets analyzed. Analyze the lemon, Drake. Stop making mixtapes and analyze my lemons. Oh, I spoiled that. That's a lemon. So we'll check that. It'll juice that for us later. But uh, this seems like a good stopping point, guys. We're going to go ahead and call it quits here. And we'll come back for another episode next time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself. This was Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I've been D-Mike. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>